There are very few congressional districts in the nation that flip from one major party to the other. Minnesota's 8th congressional district has flipped three times in the last five elections. The current congressman is Republican Pete Stauber, who won his first term in 2018. He is facing Democrat health advocate and first-time candidate Quinn Nystrom in the general election. The 8th is a sprawling district that includes the Democratic stronghold of Duluth, but also goes up to the Canadian border and down to the south to the Twin Cities exurbs of Princeton and Cambridge. And Congressman Pete Stauber joins us right now. Welcome, thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much for having me. I look forward to the conversation. All right, absolutely. Well, let me ask you, we were talking with Senator Klobuchar. Uh, obviously, President Trump did very well in 2016 in your district, as did you, you won. He won by 15 points. The polls here not looking great for the president. Three polls in a row showing him down nine. Well, I think if you look at the polls historically, uh, they've not been as accurate, especially if you look from uh, what happened in 2016. Esme, I've been on the ground in Minnesota's 8th District and northern Minnesota in general. I can tell you the enthusiasm for our president is, is off the charts. Um, we have uh, uh, mayors uh, in the district, eight mayors, have uh, have supported uh, have, and have endorsed uh, President Trump. You know, uh, President Trump is, is about jobs and the economy, that the blue-collar worker, um, uh, middle-class families, and, and it's resonating up in northern Minnesota. That's who we are and, and really fighting for our way of life. All right, and that's that. So you're seeing the enthusiasm for the president there. Are you expecting a sizable turnout in the eighth? Because Republicans statewide are counting on the eighth congressional district. I am. I, I believe the enthusiasm in the eighth district for President Trump uh, and his reelection is, like I say, off the charts. We've been to community events. I was in an event in Walker, Minnesota, just uh, last evening. Uh, there was 300 and plus uh, people there at, at an event uh, here. Uh, a couple of the elected officials speak and and supporting. Our president. This is, a, is really unprecedented in in the eighth district. All right. In, in terms of um, the polling, or in terms of looking at the eighth congressional district, so much has changed. Uh, really, this is now basically a Republican district in many ways. Uh, what do you think is driving that, and what what has changed? Well, I think that for me, I'm, I'm fighting, uh, like I say, for our way of life. That's about the jobs and the economy. We're looking at uh, the mining opportunities, uh, not only iron ore, but uh, copper, nickel, and, and of course, Enbridge Line 3, bringing manufacturing back to northeastern Minnesota, making sure our farmers are taken care of. Um, I'm a small business owner myself, and, and let's look you back. you got a hockey store, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Duluth Hockey well, Company. Yeah. So I figured I'd put a plug in for that. Yeah. For th I'm in my, my brothers and I are in our 31st year. If we could just just go back like seven months, we were at an all-time high like other small businesses, not only across Minnesota, but across the nation. Optimism was high, unemployment was a historic low. That's where we need to get back, and, and President Trump and his re-election is going to do that for us. All right, although I imagine having a hockey store in Duluth is pretty recession-proof. Uh, well, actually, when the, the COVID hit in March, that's playoff time and everything was canceled. That's true, so that's for big, the boys, yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, but I will say that uh, if we can get off subject, for the NHL is back, and, and uh, it's a great game, and uh, Lord Stanley's Cup is being uh, fought for as we speak. All right, there you go. Uh, one of the things that's so interesting about <clears throat> the 8th is that you have picked up a string of union endorsements, and you are the Republican candidate. What's going on there? Well, I think that it's about the jobs in the economy. And, and why don't you list off some of the union endorsements? Well, we've had the 49ers, the Carpenters, the Teamsters, the Pipe Fitters, La Una, uh, uh, U.S. Chamber of Commerce, um, National Federation of Independent Businesses. It's all encompassing because that's what I'm focusing on. It's the jobs in the economy and doing right for the men and women that live, work, and play and recreate in Minnesota's 8th Congressional District. All right. In terms of uh, this election, one of the things that we're going to be seeing is early voting and then also voting votes collected even after the election. Are you concerned about that in terms of election concer uh, election security and also concerns about the post office, which this administration has talked about making major cuts in? You know, I'm not concerned uh, about uh, uh, our voting. Uh, in Minnesota, we have no excuse absentee ballot, and, and then you can vote uh, on election day if you want. Minnesota historically has had a great voter turnout and really uh, the rest of the country should look at how we in Minnesota do it because we do it best. 
All right. Well, listen, Congressman Pete Stauber, thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. Your district does come right down into the metro, so thanks for visiting with That's us. That's right. It's a great congressional district. All right. Absolutely. And absolutely beautiful, too. And we hope to have your Democratic opponent on the show soon. Thank you so much, Congressman Stauber.